Do you ever really, really like a tank until just all of a sudden one day you just don't? Well, welcome back to the small scape and I am getting ready to rescape my heterandria formosa tank. Why? Because just out of the blue, I just want something different. I think they're going to enjoy it too. And this tank is located right outside of the nano nook. And so we see it all the time. And I just really want something different. Plus I'm feeling, I don't know, I think I'm going to experiment with some plants that are not generally put in this small of a tank. I think they'll like it and I'm very curious to see how they grow in. So I don't know, I'm just going to give some things a shot and uh, see, uh, see how it turns out. Well, I was so happy to swap out the white sand. It gets dirty so fast and I've gone with my favorite. Yes, the top fin black sand is one of my all time favorites. And I also have a black background. Now the experimental plant is, of course, as you see in the back, Jungle Val, which gets very tall. I'm gonna see how it does because I really wanna see what it looks like once it grows in. I might have to trim it, that's okay. But, and I've also gone with a center kind of focal point with a large piece of driftwood. And this tank is a little bit taller. So the original tank was not only did it have the black uh, silicone sides, it, it was not rimless. I've gone with a rimless one, which is now three and a half gallons. So a little bit taller, similar footprint. And it's just got a little bit more vertical swimming space for them. I really like this tank. It's, it's really nice to look at, especially since it's on the outside of the nano wall. Uh, the nano nook and also very visible from uh, most of the fish room so the placement really makes it uh, very visible from wherever you're at now i've used only two stones two say reuse stones and then like i said the driftwood which came from a water garden that i did a while back and the anubius was already attached to it i've done videos on how to attach anubius i'll link that down below and it it just worked out great it was doing fine in the water garden i just really liked the this particular piece of driftwood because it looks like a tree trunk and I'm a sucker for a tree trunk scape and I wanted to see what it would look like in a bookshelf tank so I like it I'm very curious how it's going to grow in especially with all the Anubias and the Anubias Nana Petite and I also used some Crypt Parva just a couple little little uh uh, parts that I just put that in so very curious how that grows in we also have a mystery snail in there along with the heterodyne rufamosa and both of those the mystery snail and the heterodyne rufamosa I will link videos on those species profiles that we did before and this tank I really love it the dimensions are 18 long five and a half inches deep and then seven inches tall. So it's got a really small footprint and it's just a cute, cute little tank. The light on there, I also did a video, I can put that down below too for you to look at. I did some of my favorite nano lights and this is the Aquatic Life nano light. It's a clip-on that works great for rimless tanks and I really like it. It lights up, it's like seven inches long so it lights up about half of the tank, which we really do like to incorporate dark sides to the tank. Each tank really should have a little dark spot for the fish to chill out if they'd like to, if they want a little bit uh, of just chill out space without a bright light. Also in here, I've added the uh, Sylvania Minima, which I love that as a floating plant. It also gives them some cover and, and gives them some fun swimming space up top especially since I'm hoping they will breed in this tank as well. And then that gives lots of space for the little babies to hang out. Hopefully this tank will be much easier to keep clean with the black sand. I'm really looking forward to it. And as soon as I put the little fishies in there, I think they really enjoyed it. The only issue that I'm having is the lid. There is not a lid as there usually is not for very uh, odd size tanks, which a bookshelf tank can be an odd size shape to not only find, but also find a lid. So I have a feeling I'm going to be coming up with something pretty fun in the near future, hopefully, to get a lid that fits better. This one just kind of sits on top. And the fact that the driftwood comes out just a little bit from the water is kind of messing with it, but it, it works fine. It, it, it will keep anybody from getting out, even the mysteries now. I had a lot of fun watching these little guys 
investigate their new little territory really fun because I did like the old scape, I really did. And Mr. Primetime loved it as well. I had to break it to him slowly that I really wanted to get something new, but the white sand is seriously, literally impossible to keep clean. And we did a video, I can put that one down below too, with white sands, they're not all, they don't, they don't all look the same. And the top fin white sand that I had in here is really the truest, whitest sand that you can get. And it just, oof, it, it looks dirty from, from day one after cleaning it. But this is really, uh, I really like it. And uh, I hope you do too. And I will update you along with some of my other tanks. I've got some updates coming up with some, how my uh, plants are growing in, really cool. So thanks for watching.